Welcome to Game News for October 10, 2014. Raking the leaves of news that drift from the trees of Gamedom, where your gardeners of dudeness stuffing the wheelbarrows full to deliver right into your YouTube video screen. I am Chris, this is Mike. Hello. And this is Grover. Where did you come from? What? Hello. I don't know. I just realized you are here. Where were you? <laughs> but I'm really not. Shh. Oh, the clone, I've heard Nobody of this. I really found you into the library. Music. Uh, speaking of libraries, Disney has put over 20 of its titles on Steam this week, marking their official debut on the platform. Games like Split Second, Tangled, Pure, Tron Evolution, Toy Story 3, Planes, Disney Universe, and so much more is not only there now, but you will find more games of theirs in the future. Last week, a bomb hoax sent authorities to a parking lot next to Gearbox Studios. Uh, the incident got attention after President Randy Pitchford made comments on Twitter about the event, and many thought this meant the bomb threat was against Gearbox, but both the hoax and the intent of the hoax seems to be unrelated to the game studio at this time. Capcom's Monster Hunter franchise is a monster hit just about everywhere, and Monster Hunter 4 Ultimate's arrival on the Japanese 3DS is this week, and later in 2015 for North American audiences, but if that's not enough for gamers to get excited, if you like a bit more giant boss monster slaying action in your Smash Brothers, get ready for some DLC content crossovers with Animal Crossing costumes, a Link costume that includes some of his notable weapons, and a duo of Metroid costumes featuring the Vario and Zero suit. How about that? Hmm. I think this has something to do with Mega Man being in Smash Brothers myself. I think so. Yeah. It's been over 20 years since the legendary puzzle adventure game Mist landed on computers, and it now appears to be getting some sort of TV or web series based on it, with the Miller Brothers, who created the series, to be creatively involved. <laughs> Often ventures like this fall through. It's certainly an interesting franchise to reemerge into pop culture. And lastly, Origins on the House freebie games continue, and this time bringing out some big guns in the form of Dragon Age Origins, so go get you some RPG goodness. And that was game news for the week, a little as it was. But yeah, we'll be back next time with probably even more almost pointless news about DLC and hoaxes and layoffs. <laughs> Yay! Yazers! Yowzers! I blame Gamergate. Thanks, society! <laughs> Thank you, society! So until next time, dudes! See you next time! See you next time!